What's up guys, Taylor here and I am here with Mr. Master. Hi guys. And we are going to be teaching you how to do the 14 degree timing mod. So this is a 1.6 UK uh, Mark 1 MX5 and firstly what you're going to have to do is locate this little diagnosis box thing and then you need to get let me quickly get it a piece of wire like so I don't know if you can see that piece of wire yeah so get this piece of wire and then you're gonna have to put it in the diagnosis box in this pin here and this pin here and then you want to start your car up Connor <laughs> Nice squeaky bell. Okay, so let me get a head screwdriver like this bodge up one here. And then you want to find this little screw here. See it? And um, then you want to adjust the idle, which you can see. Yeah, it's higher. And, and then, so you want to you want to get it to about 850. Connor will watch it as I adjust it back to 850. Are we there yet? There? There, yeah. Okay, so we just hit 850 there. Here we have a timing light with the bits on the back. So we've got the timing light. And then also the 12. Okay, Connor's got the 12mm spanner. So we've got the spanner, and what you want to do is turn the engine off. So you want to undo this little bolt on this unit here, and it's that little bolt down there. I don't know if you can see that. That bolt, you want to undo that bolt. Connor's going to do there. Loosen it off a bit. Okay, once you've got it kind of hand tight, you want to just wiggle it up and down, like so. This was on 14 degrees, but we're just wiggling it, moving it off. So you want to wiggle it because it will be tight, quite tight if it's never moved before. So you want to wiggle it and then get it about to where it was, which is around there. And then you want to get this little cap off on the alternator because there's no battery at the top so you can't attach the timing light clips here you can't yeah but you can't attach that to the battery so you just I used a, a flathead when I did it to get it off excuse let me try and do it it's quite tight down there I put it back in the it's the top box um, second drawer yeah and let me just show you guys down here. I don't know if you can see that on the alternator. Let me try to get in there. It's that black cap there. Underneath will be this nut. There, that nut there. And then you want to get your positive lead on here and attach that onto the threads of that nut just there and then you want to get this lead and put this on this little frame here is probably the best earth for it so once you've got that and then you take your little clip here and you want to find the arrow on it there and the arrow wants to go towards the spark plug so you clip it on the number one cylinder on there and then once you've got your timing light ready you want to set this to zero on there so once you've done that do you want to start up the car car start the car up and then down there see if we can get a decent shot of it there, on the pulley you can see sort of 
how the light is lighting it up. I can't get a very good angle here to see it. But there's a little notch in it and that lines up with the uh, bracket on there that has the timing. So you want to line the dot up with the 14 degrees. So that's uh, two past number two small dashes past number 10. So if you want to twist it, Connor, keep going that way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well, okay. A little bit more. Okay, yeah. So that's on it there. So you want to tighten it up. Connor, you want to go ahead and tighten it up. Connor's just tighten it up there. Oh yeah, sexy. sexy. So is it tight there, yeah? And then you want to get back down on the little light here. And yeah, that is still lined up. Okay, we come back, because I couldn't really see the mark, and I've made a bit of a better mark on there now. The camera in there. I don't know if you guys can see that mark there. Just scored that mark a little bit with a screwdriver just so we can see it a bit better because I couldn't really see it because it was covered in dirt and stuff. So we've cleaned it out a little bit so hopefully we can see it. So let's try to do that again. Okay, start the car up. Ready? Yep. <laughs> no, it's way too much in it. like a POV timing light which you can't really see. The car just takes the smell. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see but I'm just gonna hold the timing light here and video Connor. Which way are we turning it? Uh, we are turning it. Turn it, just turn it and I'll see. Go back. Go on, 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 more, more, more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tighten it. Yeah, tighten it there. So we've got this down here yeah, going. So we've got it lined up. It's just checking it's still in the same position as he's tightening it up. It's still looking good. Okay, so that was that. We've tightened it up, and now you can take this out, like so, and it will change a little bit. But yeah, that was uh, the 14 degree timing mod. Then take it for a little test drive and see how it goes. Make sure that's really nice and tight, and that's about it, really. That's 14 degree timing mod done. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to see it more mx5 stuff or just car stuff in general so this is the dc5 yeah it's pretty clean we got the sick mx5 we got the shit mx5 we got the race car <laughs> we got connor's face after i just called his car shit we got the scooby yeah but we got the v8 Hilux. what is, is this we got the vfr